Hello everyone. In this video, I will talk about PROC format. So PROC format is very useful even in your uh, lifetime, you know, when you do real time projects. So that time also it will be very helpful. So what is it helping us in? So it is used to create user defined format means the format which we will create and represent the data values as per the requirement. So I will uh, explain it to you. What does it mean? See over here I'm giving a format. This is known as your user defined format and I'm giving that M will be equal to one and F is equal to two. This is known as your representing your data values as per the requirement. Okay. So you are able to create your format and you are putting some values. Okay. So that is your proc format. Okay. Now what is the syntax for it? So it is proc format semicolon. Then you write value. Okay. And then you write format name. Okay. So in format name, you just need to remember one thing. If it is a numeric type, no issues at all. Directly you can write it. You can write any format name. But if it is gonna have your character values, right? That time you have to start it with dollar and then some name. Let's say gender. Okay. So let's say you're uh, over here. See, your sex is having male and female. So this is your character type. So now I am trying to create a format for this one. So this is the format name which will be different from your this variable. Correct. Now as it will hold your character value, we need to write dollar first and then that. Okay. Then is your label that will either have your text or range. So range basically means numeric and text basically means your character values. Okay. So character values are your numeric values and then run semicolon. So the proc format the advantage is once you create this format, okay, whatever format you've created, you can use it for n number of n number of data set till you end the session. That is the advantage of proc format. Let's say you have 10 files. Okay. You have 10 files and all the 10 files you want to change your mail to one. Okay. Your M to one. So if you just run this one code, right? So you'll be able to use that format for all the 10 data set. That is the advantage of proc format. So now let's start with an example over here. I will try to change format in your SAS help dot class. So what I've done is proc format semicolon value dollar gen because First, I want to change in sex male is equal to one and female is equal to two. So as male and female are character, I've given in quotation. So I see what I've given here. Male is equal to M is equal to one. F is equal to two and dollar gen is my format name. So over here, what you need to remember is see my value for this one is ending here. So semicolon will be here. You will not give semicolon here also. Okay. So only one semicolon at the end of this statement. Now I want to give one more thing for height. Okay. Now height is a numeric variable. So the format name will not have dollar. So it is not having, I've given one T extra for format name. Okay. Format name should be different from your variable. Now over here, I have many height, right? I'm trying to classify it as if it falls between zero to 60 is equal to short that we are calling it a short. And if it is 61 to hundred, we are calling it as tall. And short and tall are character formats. So I have given it in quotation then run. So I will run this. Now over here you can see format dollar gen uh, has been output format height has been output. Okay. That means it is created now. So now you can use this format for your n number of data set. Now see how will I use it data final that is the data set name I've given set I'm taking it from sas help dot class now uh, I think you guys must be aware of how you write format so what you do is format variable and format name so format I want to apply it on sex so I've written sex which format I want to apply dollar gen so I've written dollar gen dot then I want to apply for height height t dot so this is how you write the format. Then you do run semicolon. So I will run it. Okay. Now can you see all your male are represented by one and all your female are represented by two. While if you see uh, tall and short in height, 
anyone whose height was in between 0 to 60 they are considered to be short and anyone whose height was more than 60 and less than 100 are considered to be tall over here C. I hope this is clear. So in interview what they can ask you over here let's see this question and let's try to solve it. How will you convert the values 1 and 2? How will you convert the values 1 and 2 in a variable to male and female? So I hope the question is clear. So now let's try it. Data, data set name, some name I have given. And uh, I want to have one variable input which let it be 6. And the value it will be holding is your 1 and 2. Okay, so it will come in cards. Okay, 1 and 2. Yeah. So let me just run it. You can see sex is holding the value 1 and 2. So this is the variable which is holding the value 1 and 2. Now I want to convert this value 1 and 2 to your male and female. So let's create using proc format. So proc format value let's say gender the new format name and 1 is equal to what? So 1 is equal to male and 2 is equal to female correct and then semicolon run semicolon so my format is ready I will run it yeah so over here we can see format gender has been output now once this is done what you can do is let's say data final the data set name set I am taking DSN that is your from here see DSN now we want to apply the format right format for whom sex variable what is the format gender dot run semicolon so now your one value will hold male and two value will hold female see male and female so this is the question which was asked in interview so over here just remember that you can use if conditional statement but if you have multiple data set in which you want to apply this format then proc format is the best option. I hope my video is very much clear to all of you. I will daily try to upload one or two videos. Please subscribe to my channel. Thank you everyone.